the phylum Platyhelminthes is composed of flatworms with bilateral symmetry and unsegmented bodies. These invertebrate animals have no circulatory or respiratory organs, instead relying upon their flat shape to allow oxygen and nutrients to enter their bodies through diffusion. They have distinct head areas and tail ends with two eye spots found on the head. Also found on the head are two lobes on either side that contain chemosensory cells to help flatworms sense chemicals and find food sources. Their left and right sides are mirror images and they have distinct top and bottom surfaces as well. The digestive cavity of flatworms offers only one opening for both the ingestion of nutrients and expulsion of waste. The pharynx used for feeding protrudes when in use and retracts when it is not needed. Many marine flatworms are brightly colored and oddly beautiful. They will attach to plants, rocks, and corals to feed and seem to glide through the water when traveling. This leopard flatworm, Pseudobacerus pardalis, shows off its relatively plain underside and ornate top side. It twists and turns gracefully through the water, making it a favorite site of divers and snorkelers in warm climates. The species was found in Rotan, Honduras. This flatworm, Pseudobacerus hancocinus, shows us that not everyone wins in the binomial name department and that not all flatworms are graceful. This flatworm swims by undulating its body and lands a little haphazardly, showing off its distinct top side and underside. I meant to do that. Flatworms are hermaphroditic, meaning they possess both male and female organs. When it comes time to mate, these marine flatworms fight over who gets to wear the pants in the relationship. The two flatworms come together, showing their undersides, and the two exposed white nubs. These nubs are the flatworms' penises, yes, more than one, that they will fight each other for the chance to use. This fight to father offspring is called penis fencing and can actually be quite brutal. Flatworms can rip holes in each other in this battle that has been known to last for up to an hour. They fight so ferociously over the chance to follow their offspring in order to get out of the additional time and resources needed to be the mother. The winning father flatworm can swim away once he has won the fight. His part is done. The losing mother flatworm must now expend more energy and time to be the responsible parent. Flatworms aren't always beautifully colored creatures that a diver would love to see underwater. The Cestoda class of flatworms is something that everyone would like to avoid. The class Cestoda contains the tapeworms. Tapeworms are parasitic flatworms that live in digestive tracts of other animals as adults. They most often enter their host through the ingestion of undercooked or ill-handled meat, including pork, beef, and fish. You can see that these platyhelminthes have the same flat body style as the prettier ones divers like to videotape. Small tapeworm segments called proglottids can live outside of a host body and must be ingested in order to infect a host. Like other flatworms, they are hermaphroditic, though self-fertilization is an extremely rare, if not unheard of, phenomenon. Trematodas are also parasitic flatworms. These oddly shaped flatworms are known as the flukes. Flukes are most often parasites of marine creatures. Many use mollusks as their primary host before infecting other creatures.
Schistosomiasis is a disease caused by infection of parasitic flukes. This infection is most often caused by untreated water and improper waste sanitation practices. People bathing, swimming, or playing in infected water will contact these parasites on their skin. The parasites will then penetrate the skin and mature internally, causing abdominal pain, fever, diarrhea, and potential serious nervous system problems.